Do you think that the best college football team could beat the worst NFL team? I don't think so. What if the spread was like minus 14 for the NFL team? Do you think, are you asking if you think they would cover? Yeah. I, I don't think so. You think they would still get blown out? The Houston Texans versus the, the Houston Texans versus the Georgia Bulldogs this year. Davis I think Mills the Texans, at quarterback. Yeah, but Davis Mills I was know. a college quarterback at yes. a, I don't want to say elite level, but he was drafted. He made the NFL. Um, a lot of these guys that are college quarterbacks don't even pan out. So I think his bottom and his floor, especially against a college team, and if we're talking about like coaching. How many coaches have you seen been successful in college and then not the NFL? Nick Saban. A lot. But what are you comparing that to? I think if you if you have a – well, if you don't have coaching, as good of coaching, then they're not going to be able to compete coaching against an NFL coach. I would compare – I would say that the – some. oh, yeah. Well, yeah, that's the – okay, that's the – that's what you're comparing. You're talking schemes. You're talking, like, best personnel and stuff. Even the bad yeah. ones in – NFL, Nick Saban was a horrible coach, yeah. but he's considered one of the greatest coaches, at least recruiters, yes. in college football history. Yes. So there's a difference there, and I think in terms of the coaching, the plays are going to be calling. I think game plan, yeah, alongside with the talent that they do have. Yeah, and I mean, like, they do have some stars, and if they had those, like, for example, Brandon Cooks at receiver and Derek Stingley Jr., who got drafted yeah. very high in the first round, if they, like, compared to the Georgia Bulldogs, where they probably more than half the team Probably 75% of the team isn't going to go in the first, second round. Yeah, no. So, yeah. Probably more than 75. And That's what, I would 50 something people on a yeah, team. Yeah, I would say that probably half the Houston Texans were first or second round picks, right? Half a roster? All of them were, well, majority of them were drafted. Yes. Even if they're, like, they made the NFL. So the they're answer is. They're also no. grown men and adults. Yeah, the answer is easily no. Okay. I would probably agree. Yeah, but I see the argument against it. Yeah. Because, you know, young blood's coming in. Young blood. More talent. Hungry. Hungry. That would be a great punishment. Imagine if you finish last place in the NFL, you have to play the national champions in college at the end of the season. There's no benefit to the last place NFL. Well, what if they just did like a cash bonus where it was like if you win, you get everyone gets like a hundred grand or something. Everyone just gives something to a team and then it's split they split. Winner of that game gets a hundred grand each player or something like that. Then yeah, I mean that would be I really like that idea. Can they do it? It would probably happen eventually. The college team would have to win eventually. Well yeah and that's why I say there's no benefit like the NFL team's supposed to win that game. So there's no benefit it's like Fighting your older brother. Yeah, you'd have it's to like, put in an incentive. Like, yeah, the older brother, if he loses to the younger brother in anything, in yes. a fight, basketball, one-on-one, like, yeah. you're going to be made fun of. Yes. That would be electric. I'm, I want to propose that ideal to, idea to... Uh, Someone watching. Get, raise, it to, raise it to the people. Raise it to the people. Yeah, literally.